Shouts out to Kuno, an artist that I follow on Twitter, and I just saw a tweet of his pop up on my timeline where he says, y'all better start learning anatomy and lighting real fast. Adding, I think it's actually hilarious that a huge copium people were huffing was that it doesn't look good enough but totally forgot about anime style slash cartoony art, which has fewer parameters to learn from. This stuff is frightening. Just look at the comments. So we got this tweet that Kuno was responding to from Mimic. We got an auto translation here. Let's take a look, see how it is. Today we released Mimic, they say, an AI service that learns to, excuse me, that learns the characteristics. Of, <laughs> it's, the translation's fine. It's my poor English that's messing it up. That's funny. <laughs> Let me try that again. Today we released Mimic, an AI service that learns the characteristics of illustrators' drawings and generates illustrations. You can, you can create an illustration maker illustration generation AI for free up to two times. So if you want to learn your own illustration, please use it. All right, you got these little diagrams here, the tweet itself getting over 45,000 likes, and they would add, when you upload about 15 to 30 character illustrations, Mimic automatically cuts out the face and the AI learns the features and generates an illustration. Please note that you can only upload images that you have drawn yourself according to the rules. And they would end with some credits to Mr. Yoshiro Kanoki, Mr. Tontonman, along with other illustrators who cooperate in the interview and illustration publication, as well as the opinions and uh, encouragement from everyone else. First response, who benefits from the service? An illustrator enjoys delivering commissioned pictures? That's all I can come up with. Another top response reads, one of my favorite artists has already deleted all of his illustrations from Twitter as a countermeasure for this service. I thought that some of them might even hide their illustrations on Pixiv or other illustration posting sites or stop posting anymore altogether. Thinking about it, I think it's really an artist killing service. Do you have a system in place to take responsibility in case of misuse? It says that Mimic can freely use the rights to the pictures created from the uploaded illustrations, but does the same apply to illustrations made without permission? Is there a system in place to distinguish between unauthorized use and official use? Yeah, as we read in the rules, it seems that they only want people to use the service with art that they created. It's a good question though, what's stopping people from not following that rule? Now I hate to say it because I may just not fully understand this AI thing and how it all works. It does look like this will overall hurt independent artists more than help them though. And you can see that sentiment reflect in the top comments as well. Now, maybe some people will argue that this is better for the consumer. I'm not making that argument right now. I want to focus on the artists because, like I said, this seems like it'll only really hurt artists for the most part. There's a couple situations I can see where it may help artists. For example, if the artist themselves wants to make a character and then they use the AI program to get more art of that character for whatever reason. I suppose artists can use it themselves and that's the idea. But as mentioned, what's stopping people from commissioning art and using it or using existing art and putting it into the, the program, which they say they don't want people to do. But again, what's going to stop them from doing it? Plus, this is just the way it works right now. What's stopping a future update or other company making a similar product slash service where you don't even need to input art? You just put like select parameters and it just generates the entire thing. The fact of the matter is, even while I'm trying to be fair, looking at the benefits, it seems overall there's so many negatives in this situation again specifically for independent artists that's my main point here uh, i also just feel bad for artists already like in general they got a tough line of work man tough line of work some of the customers are insane some of the people want to pay them like literally nothing close to what they deserve there's so many issues that artists have to go through like regularly and now this on top of it it's just concerning and again i'm trying to be fair i'm trying to acknowledge where there may be some benefits for this sort of thing i just uh man I can't lie, it seems like there's so many negatives, once again, for independent artists. Really briefly, this also reminds me of a conversation I had with a buddy on the phone the other month. So, the, the context is we were talking about, like, YouTube stuff and multi-channel networks and VTuber agencies and these sort of companies, right, with content creators. And so, I came up with this idea mid-phone call. I'm like, dude, what if one day there's a company that makes an AI program that just auto-generates content creators? And then instead of these companies having to sign VTubers or, like, multi-channel network signing YouTubers, in other words, real people, they just pay like a one-time fee for whatever the cost of doing business would be for creating this AI content creator. And you could have a company with like freaking dozens of AI content creators working under them that they never have to pay anymore. And it just like automatically creates content. And the technology in the future may be so good that like you can't even tell it's a fake creator. You know what I mean? Like hypothetically, that's some crazy stuff. And it kind of seems like that's similarly playing out right now for artists. Like, dude, um, I don't know. It's kind of kind of disturbing. Again, there's got to be some benefits to this stuff. Overall, though, it just seems creepy, disturbing, and too much negative stuff going along with it. Maybe I just don't understand the technology fully. Let me know what you think in the comments. And to the artists out there, I feel for y'all. You know, I try to defend artists when they get harassed on Twitter fairly often. I try to support artists as much as I can. There's probably more I could do, too. I'll try to do more. The point is, though, like, 
it's a it's a line of work where I have a lot of respect for these artists. A lot of the time they just want to like make people happy and smile with their art. And they gotta deal with so much just awful stuff in their line of work, man. It's so rough. Like the odds are stacked against them. And again, it's just a group of people that for the most part want to make people happy with their art. It's really sad stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you there.